Is there anything I'm doing that you don't understand? I mean, I just can't imagine it could be any easier than ProCalc makes it. Escalation 1 is used for operating in CAM. If you don't have operating in CAM, you're going to leave this whole segment of boxes blank. If you want to enter an operating or common area maintenance escalation, this is where you're going to do it. Escalation 1 name. Click on the drop-down box. There are six different defaults you can use here. Select any one you want. If you'd like to add a different name, just click on the Modify button over here and you can add any other name to this list you want. I'll keep it as operating expenses. Escalation 1 lets you do gross or net deals. Let's start with a gross escalation. I'll click on Gross. Base year. It shows me the available base years. 2006 is the commencement date of this deal, so I'm going to use 2006 as my base year. What month does the increase occur? The increase occurs every January. The building base is $6 a foot. I assume the increase rate is going to be 5%, and I give you the ability to fill in a separate tenant base amount. I'll explain why in a minute. The increase always occurs in the year after the base year, in this case, 2007. When in 2007? In January of 2007, we're going to take $6, we're going to increase it by 5% to 630, we're going to subtract the tenant base of $6, and this tenant owes 30 cents starting January of 2007. I click on Go to Reports, and I go to my cash flow, and you'll see here's the operating expense line, and it shows me all the increases over my $6 base. You'll notice there's an expense in year one. That's because this is showing lease year increments. We started this lease 6106, and the first year ending date is 53107. The operating increase began in January of 07, so this 13 cents reflects five months worth of the first increase. Sometimes you might negotiate that the tenant doesn't have to make any operating payments in the first 12 months of the lease. Check this out. You'll see there's a checkbox. It says abate all costs in the first 12 months. If I put a check in this box, now I click on go to reports and I go back down to the cash flow, all the expenses in year one are gone. If I click Go to Data Entry and go back to Escalation 1, I'm back at the Data Entry form. Sometimes you might negotiate a net escalation where there is no base year. Ten is just going to pay the full operating base amount starting day one of the lease in addition to the base rent. Here's how easy it is. Filling in net escalations are even easier. Escalation 1 name. Very often people will call it CAM for a net escalation. For gross or net, you're obviously going to click on Net. There is no base year for net escalation, so it says leave this box blank for net escalation. What month does the increase occur? Let's say the increase occurs every January. The building base amount is going to be $6 a foot. The increase rate is going to be 5%. And there's no separate tenant base amount for a net escalation either. Click on Go to Reports. Go to the cash flow. You'll see CAM. And here's the $6 plus any future increases in every year showing right here. Go to Data Entry. Back to Escalation 1. I'm on the Data Entry form. Unfortunately, in this DVD, I don't have enough time to show you all the different things we can do with operating and CAM escalations. If there's anything you do in your market that you're not sure how you would do with ProCalc, click on help. You know how to get our phone number. Call us 24-7-365. Tell us what you want to do and we'll show you how to do it. There is nothing that ProCalc can't do anywhere in this country, I guarantee it. And don't ever forget that.